tasks. Perhaps you keep a list of things to do, either at home or in the office. Outlook 2013 gives you a to-do list, except they call them tasks. In this lesson, we're going to learn everything about entering tasks and to-do items in Outlook. Just remember, tasks are not appointments, meetings or events. They are simply things you have to do, such as organise a birthday party for a co-worker. To create a task, start by going to the Tasks module by clicking on the Tasks label. Click on the Home tab if it's not already selected, and look in the New Group in the ribbon. Click on New Task. Enter a name for the task in the subject line. Enter a start date and a due date for the task if you need to. Also select if you want Outlook to remind you of this task. If you want to add more detail about the task, enter it in the body or the white space of this window. In the Actions group on the Task tab, click Save and Close to close this task. When a task is complete, you can open up the task and click on the Mark Complete button. The To-Do Bar is a region where you can go to manage everything you have to do. It shows your appointments, tasks and lets you add things that you need to do. Of course, you have the Task List in the Task module where you can track projects and errands but this allows you to quickly add things you need to do from any module. For example, if something comes in email that you need to add to your list of things that must be completed. The to-do bar is collapsed by default in Outlook 2013. To view it, you have to enable it. Go to any module, such as Mail or People, and click on the View tab. Go to the to-do bar in the Layout group. Select the items you want shown in the to-do bar. The to-do bar appears on the right side of your Outlook screen. You can mark tasks as complete from the to-do bar by right-clicking on them and selecting Mark Complete. You can also double-click on any date in the calendar and go to the calendar to add things you have to do. If you show the People section of your to-do bar, you can add favourites or people you email frequently. We entered one of our contacts in the search box and added that contact to our favourites. You can do this by right clicking on the name and selecting add to favourites. He now appears in the favourites list. Now we can hover the mouse over the contact. We can click on the envelope icon to send him an email or click the downward arrow to view his contact information. You can create a task from an email message, contact, calendar item or a note. To do this, you can do one of several things. You can drag an email message to the task area of the to-do bar. To do this, you can click on the email. Hold the left mouse button down and drag it to the to-do bar. Let go of the mouse button and the task will be created. To create a task from the to-do bar, click your mouse in the to-do bar and then right click. Select New Task. To set recurring tasks, create a new task as we've learned to do at the beginning of this lesson. I can create one by going right click and then new task. Let's type in a subject for this task. Now click on the task tab in the ribbon and click on recurrence. Select your recurrence pattern or how often you want the task to recur. Like the calendar items, you can choose daily, weekly, monthly or yearly. For example, if you wanted to create a task to create a grocery list, you might set it for weekly and say you want it to recur every week or every two weeks on a Wednesday. Next, choose the day you want the task to start appearing, and if it has an end time. Click OK when you're finished. Assigning tasks to others is easy. In your new task window, click the Home tab, and then Assign Task in the Manage Tasks group. You will then see this window. Select who you want to send the task to and fill out all other information as you did with the new task window. You can also put a check mark in the boxes to get an updated copy of the task on your task list. And you can also request that a status report is sent to you when the task is complete. Status reports let you know when the tasks have been completed by those who you've assigned the task to. But you can also keep other people in the loop and let them know what you've accomplished by sending status reports to them. To send a status report for tasks, open the task. You can double click on a task in the information viewer to open it. To send a status report for tasks, open the task. You can do this by double clicking on a task in the information viewer to open it. 
In the task window for which you want to send a status report, click the Send Status Report button in the Manage Task group under the Task tab. You'll then see this window. Enter the addresses of the people you want to send the status report to and then press Send. You can also click in the body to add additional links.